God almighty, have you seen all the madness that's been going on with GameStop stocks, mate? Absolute pandemonium. So from what I've generally understood from the outside looking in, um, there's a subreddit called Wall Street Bets. And for some reason, I'm not too sure what kind of spurned it, but they decided to all kind of, um, they all decided to purposely drive up the price of GameStop stock in order to short sell it, right? Is that short sell it or whatever that word is called in order to drive it up and then obviously get make, you know, insane gains on it as a kind of middle finger F you to the, you know, financial elites out there. Um, I think it's something they always do, right? It's just short selling. It's the thing that Elon Musk, I think, hates that um, some of the people in finance do to Tesla stock or they did do in the past. So um, this kind of subreddit basically pushed this idea forward. They were picking out all these companies that are relatively dead in the water. I think GameStop was one. Nokia was another one. Um, AMC theatres, of course, you know, due to COVID, a lot of those theatres have closed and I think their business is completely stuttering due to COVID. So they picked a lot of businesses that basically in conventional terms are dead in the water or aren't going, going anywhere anytime soon. And I think maybe at the beginning of the week, if I'm not mistaken, GameStop might have been two digits it might have been ten dollars twenty dollars per share and then suddenly now it's kind of leapfrogged up to last i checked or something like 330 so people have been making insane gains over this time and you know there's still this adage that they're all gonna hold until the end of time until it goes to some crazy amount but essentially people have been able regular folks that are on this subreddit who kind of you know would you know uh, class themselves as financial experts in their own little realm some of them are probably people that work in the industry right i'm sure of it it's just it's a forum it's not just a place regulated to dumb dumbs you know i mean there's definitely going to be loads of smart people on there but essentially loads of regular folk have been able to completely change their financial circumstances during one of the worst times in history right which has been amazing to see especially in the states right um in the states where most of the people have been waiting for their stimulus check to come through there's still been no news on that front, right? Even though Joe Biden won. And you'd imagine that would be an easy win for the Democrats to do, isn't it, right? An easy goal, an easy sort of like tick on their ballot, right? An easy, an easy win, an easy trophy on their cabinet just to kind of quickly approve the stimulus checks or whatever they need to do in order to kind of get those $2,000 checks or whatever the amount is in the hands of average Americans. But no, hasn't been done yet. So it's no surprise that regular people are like, you know what, I'm going to seek whatever means that I can to make sure that I can look after myself and secure the future of my family in any way that I can. And if it means that you're doing it and you also have the opportunity to put the middle finger up to the financial elites who have been, for the most, you know, in all intents and purposes, getting away with this same sort of bullshit for, you know, and from the beginning of time, then I definitely see why this makes sense. But the reaction to it from the establishment has been crazy. Guys on CNBC essentially crying at the fact that this is happening, warning people not to do it, um, you know, cr crying and complaining to v uh, various boards to get involved and um, implement various sanctions to stop this kind of occurring again. Like some absolutely insane hand wringing has been going on from certain sections of the media and of the elites and it's definitely um an example and a reminder of just how much these people have con utter contempt for you and i regular people just trying to make sure that we can survive in this fucking cruel world especially during covid right covid has basically highlighted and exasperated all the individual all the indeficiencies in the system right it's basically laid to bear um the differences between the haves and the haves nots right um for us for me and you we can't we're not mobile enough to move and up sticks to different countries that at, 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 you know at a whim and decide to you know change our future based on our location on an instant we have to maybe decide things you know one or one to two five years out in advance you know um employment's been taken away from you the ability to you to get an education to put your kids through an education people have opened businesses that have spluttered no support from the government no timeline of when you can get back on your feet just up to utter utter contempt and um isolation right you've kind of felt like i would imagine most people i know i felt that myself going through this but 
it's just been a very stark reminder that there are two realities right that exist in this world and unfortunately if you're not in the other reality where you are financially stable the whims of the world are going to affect you far more than they're going to affect these people so this whole surge to buy up all the stock and to sell it you know at a particular price in order to kind of make some returns and drive it up artificially i'm all for i'm all for so this is article here from the bbc it says gamestop failing firm soars in value as amateurs buy stock and again this term amateurs is so insulting like i said because that wall street bets subreddit is full of people who have you know years of experience decades of experience in the financial in industry people that are probably working in the in the scene you know hiding behind the pseudonym but to suggest they're just all amateurs who have no business getting involved in stock is a real misnomer but it continues it says shares in the U.S. gamer um, games company have soared more than three hundred thousand in the past week. The result of the fight between private and professional investors, video games, uh, bricks and mortar retailer GameStop, arguably something of a relic in the moving online, but the share price soared another one hundred twenty percent in Wednesday's trading on New York. Analysts blame tech savvy young day traders who they are taking on hedge funds in a conflict with generational overtones, and then the phenomenon would be spreading to Europe with several stocks subject to unusual fluctuations in Wednesday trading is a battle between Wall Street pros and upstart investors using social media platforms such as Reddit and let's say at the moment the upstarts have the upper hand it is says Neil Wilson from markets.com getting weird we are seeing some serious funny business in some corners of the market will it end badly asked Thomas says managing director of Grant Hill hedge funds sure we just don't know when it's what's driving the GameStop price certainly not any good news coming from the company GameStop describes a failing mold based a retailer by one professional investor made a loss of 795 million in 2019 and probably several hundred more in 2020 but that's not deterred an army of social media traders with access to free and local trading platforms such as robin hood and uh tr what, what did i use i use free trade here in the uk i bought some stock as well so let's see how that goes um i think i might have bought mine at like 290 or something along those kind of lines i think so i think so um and who probably have a lot of time on their hands during lockdown they're swapping the tips and wrapping up prices via reddit's chat um chat red via reddit's chat thread wall street bets but you know what the funny thing is um on the time of recording wall street bets has gone private i'm not sure if there's some mods or if the people behind wall street bets decided to take it offline uh during um you know the close of the market because it's going to reopen again i think what tomorrow at about 2 30 right um uk time but i'm guessing 9 30 wherever you are in the us but essentially wall street bets has gone private it's gone it's finished like what is it has it been nuked as it is it pressure from the financial institutions squeezing them and basically closing um, the ability of people to communicate freely on the internet based on the financial system that's going on here or is this just uh, an inevitable end to what's going on it's flipping insane um and let's just play a video here from shamat the guy who I mentioned previously before, who's kind of uh, throwing his hat in the ring to become governor of California, decided to back up and support a lot of the people who are basically um, wanting to stick the middle finger up at these institutions. And he made some very salient points in here against a financial analyst who essentially is decrying this entire thing and calling it a bit of a ruse. But I definitely like what Shemai had to say about it. So let's play his clip here. A lot of people who believe that, you know, coming out of 2008, what happened was Wall Street took an enormous amount of risk and they left retail as the bag holder. And a lot of these kids were in grade school and high school when that happened. They lost their homes, their parents lost their jobs. And they've always wondered, like, why did those folks get bailed out for taking enormous amounts of risk and nobody helped and showed up to help my family? Exactly. And then the second video, let's go back to this one. Can this I is ask emblematic you a of the. Can some, I, some say can this I ask is emblematic. Hey, hang on. Some say this is emblematic of of a bubble. Okay. Can I ask uh, you a question? I'm, I'm concerned about people getting hurt in what may okay. end up being a I part understand. of the market that's in a bubble. That, that's all. When stock when stocks trade down, okay, in moments of dislocation. I don't know if over the last three or four years you guys can throw up a chart, but there are there are times where you would see tip to tail drawdowns of you know five, ten, fifteen percent over the course of days and weeks. What, what are we supposed to do in those situations? Just stop the market so that it can't go down? No, but this is Just like a, this you can't is, stop this the market is a from going situation. up. Like, this is yeah, a I, you again, admit. I mean, Scott, you're getting you're getting into trying to judge, and my point is, you can't judge, so don't try. Okay, you have to understand and believe that there is so much information out there that people can be on a level playing field. 
Can I ask you a question? It's not my job to go and defend a bunch of, you know, highly compensated hedge fund managers against losses. And just the fact that for one time those folks lost, we can bellyache and cry on national television. Exactly. To me, it's a joke. Well, I mean, I don't There's think There's a that... lot of kids. Hold on a second. There's a lot of kids and a lot of people on Wall Street Best who have made money to pay off their mortgage. I read about a post yesterday of a kid that was able to pay off his entire student loans and posted it. That's amazing progress. I read a thread before Wall Street Best got taken offline. This lady basically was saying that she was a single mom had kind of come out from a very difficult relationship and got finally got a divorce but was struggling obviously throughout COVID to support her family and now off of the back of a couple of shrewd investments and a dedication to hold and sell a few bits she's been able to essentially secure the future of her family for a couple of years to come all right and this is basically for somebody who was desolate somebody who was without hope who had no option out there that was kind of ready for them to take right the government promised a stimulus check it still hasn't been delivered and they finally found a way to kind of stick them with a finger up to financial institution and take advantage of the situation right this is probably a prime time to do so considering where everyone's at home bored and twiddling their thumbs and kind of noticing and kind of realizing the in inequalities that exist in the world and now the financial institute is kind of up in arms and essentially they've taken if what it feels like so far they've taken wall street best offline like how insane is that this might be a bit of a consequence and another illustration as to why some people myself included were very dubious about this whole thing of like banning trump and taking him off of social media because what does it end now we've seen where it ends right we've seen where it ends where it ends where the financial institution can decide who gets to speak and who gets to not speak who gets to invest and who doesn't get to invest who gets to make money who doesn't get to make money who stays rich and who decide who stays generationally poor this is essentially what they're showing us it is flipping disgusting to be fair it really is um but again it's cool to see just that this you know these sort of things are so unique for the times that we're living in this is probably one of the many benefits that come from this crazy time that we're living in during covid it's been horrible people have lost family members f businesses homes relationships friendships but one of the best things to come out of this is the exposing of the you know of political institutions financial institutions and that we're seeing them laid bare and we're seeing the incompetence at the highest highest offices of power we're seeing how dumb and ineffective and you know unsympathetic these people are to the regular struggles of people like you and i they don't care right they don't care they never have cared and this is exposing it and if we can somehow get our own back in some way shape or form why not why not take a bunch of it it's legal nothing people are doing is illegal from what i've seen for the most part it's all above board and it's taking advantage of the very system that these guys helped to build and they profited off for years and now the regular folk on the street are doing it and now it's become a bit of an issue someone mentioned before this is like the financial french revolution that's what it feels like it does feel like the financial french revolution and i'm here for it i'm here for it